and welcome back friends for reading time with cj thank you so much for joining me today so that we can read and explore more books together are you ready to learn with me today so this book is a biography book and we're going to learn all about georgia o'keefe this book is called little people big dreams georgia o'keefe written by madame isabel sanchez vigara illustrated by Erica Salcasedo, and this book is published by Quattro Nose. Let's read together. Little People, Big Dreams, Georgia O'Keefe, written by Madame Isabel Sanchez Vigara, illustrated by Erica Salcedo, and this book is published by Quarto Nose. Little Georgia grew up with six brothers and sisters on a farm near Sun Prairie, Wisconsin. But while they played games, Georgia preferred to look at the world around her. At school, Georgia was always more inspired by the colors she saw through the classroom window than the numbers written on the blackboard. And when Georgia was 12, she told her mother she wanted to become an artist. She started lessons and her drawing soon became the most impressive in the class. Georgia moved to Chicago and then New York to keep studying art, but everyone in the city was busy. They didn't have time to notice beauty in the little things around them little things like a flower. So she decided to paint that tiny flower by putting her nose very close to it. Suddenly, the littlest flower became the most enormous painting. No one could ignore its beauty. A famous photographer named Alfred saw Georgia's paintings and wanted to share her work with the world. He put together an exhibition of her artwork. Georgia's paintings left the public wide-eyed in amazement. They just couldn't figure out what they were looking at. But Alfred understood her paintings. He was an artist too. Soon they realized they were made for each other and got married. Inspired by New York, Georgia decided to paint towering skyscrapers as only a child would have painted them. For her, the city was made of enormous squares. And when summer came, Georgia visited New Mexico. She immediately fell in love with the desert. She painted crosses, sand dunes, and even the skulls of dead animals. They were all fascinating to her. She loved every stone, every bone, and every color of the lonely desert. She painted every single day in a house nestled between red hills. Nothing was too small or too ordinary for her. Through her art, Georgia flew all around the world to different museums. They called her the mother of American modernism. And today, you can see how the ordinary becomes extraordinary when you take the time to look at it as little Georgia did. And I hope you enjoyed this biography on Georgia O'Keeffe. If you'd like to purchase a copy for your collection at home, you can find the link to it in my description box below. Thank you so much for joining me, girls and boys, and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye-bye.